What's up guys, in today's video, I'm going to keep this one short and simple. So, Season 4 is coming out in a couple days, and with that, they're supposed to be coming out with some new weapons as well. They're coming out with like a slew of new weapons at launch, which I wouldn't really see to expect or anything like that coming from, uh, you know, I guess you'd say Call of Duty in general. They normally make us wait for weapons, and they only put two at launch. But uh, this season, apparently, according to their intel or their blog they're releasing three weapons at launch one of them being an assault rifle an smg and an lmg so today we're gonna be going over the weapons and stuff like that i'm gonna be like describing them to you and everything of that sort so you guys can get a brief rundown of what you're gonna be expecting for season four so before anything, I want you guys to subscribe if you haven't already to drop that thumbs up today's video. I also want you to comment down below, and I want you to tell me which of these weapons I'm going to be telling you guys are you most excited for. Because quite frankly, I want to use them all. So first things first, the first weapon that I want to cover is the MG82 LMG. Now, we've seen guns like this in the past, and we've actually seen this gun in the past, and uh, this gun is kind of hard to control from what we remember. Modern Warfare, I think it had, yeah, no, MG30, but anyways, so this one's going to be the MG82. Now, this one is supposed to be a full-auto light machine gun, the highest fire rate in the class, of course, with improved aiming speed, moderate recoil, and damage with increased ammo capacity. So, I just want to see how this plays in Warzone. I think it's going to have a fast fire rate, a high TTK, and stuff like that. But I don't know how viable it's going to be because of the recoil control, especially over distance. Moving on to the C-58 Assault Rifle. This is the next gun that's supposed to be coming up in the Battle Pass as well for Tier 31. This one's going to be a full auto assault rifle with high damage at close range with a slower fire rate. From like when I first looked at this gun, I thought it looked like an FAL almost. But this one's supposed to be giving you some really high damage at close range. This could be um, the return of a double AR meta for Warzone. I'm kind of excited to try that one out. That one sounds the most interesting in my opinion. Uh, moving on to the nail gun, this is also coming at launch for Black Ops Cold War and for Warzone. Highly mobile. So this one just kind of reminds me of the, um, what was that gun called, man? Um, it was a World War II gun, man. Uh, grease gun? Yeah, that's what it kind of looks like to me, is a grease gun. But um, this one is the nail gun. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of excited to see how this also plays in Warzone as well. I think this is, might be a quote-unquote meta for launch, Maybe? Maybe? But moving on to the next weapon, this one's going to be dropping in season. It's called the OTS-9 SMG. This one says it has great stopping power and phenomenal fire rate. The OTS-9 is hindered only by its low magazine capacity of 20 rounds, though. So kind of like the uh, the ISO, um, this gun's going to have a very low magazine count. But apparently it says that it has um, available magazine attachment and it holds its own in squad fights. So... Maybe, yeah, it's going to have a fast fire rate, but just kind of like how the AS Val, you really only see that weapon used in um, solos and duos. Um, the ISO, you really don't see people like using that gun. But this one, if it does have like a 45 round mag or maybe even a 50, you could see this gun used in trios, maybe duos, stuff like that. But I don't know about quads. Maybe quads too, potentially. Um, last weapon is going to be the mace. It's going to be a melee weapon. Nobody really cares about that, but it kind of looks cool. But yeah, other than that, man, these are the weapons that are coming out with uh, Season 4. So I'm kind of excited about that. Much love again, guys. Peace.